The recent storms have certainly put a dent in the drought, but they've also flooded precious farmland, ruining mile after mile of crops up and down the state. But even at farms that haven't flooded, they're still having a hard time harvesting. Max Darrow spent some time with a South Bay farmer who says he's trying not to take the rain for granted. 90% double dwarf fescue and 10% uh, bluegrass. Getting a look and feel of his cool season grass, Aaron Gill says. We're ready to go and, and, and ship and harvest. His crop in the Santa Clara Valley is faring quite well. We're enjoying the rainfall for sure. Thanks in part to a much needed assist from Mother Nature. We've been doing this since 1969. This is one of the biggest years for, for rainfall that we've had. It's a savior for the state of California. However, while the relentless rain has helped his product, it's hindered his ability to harvest it. It is keeping us away from doing all the things we normally do. So when he gets a sunny day like this one, he has to make the most of it. A long, long spell of rainfall means that we're down for a long time without cash flow. After years of drought in the region, the abundance of rain has been somewhat of a shock to the system says Jess Brown, the executive director of the Santa Clara County Farm Bureau. It's kind of an interesting dilemma because everybody wanted the drought to be over. We wanted to recharge the groundwater, but I mean, it's really too much at one time. So it's creating some production challenges. While Gill has experienced some harvesting delays, there are other farmers who've had to push their overall timetables back. Flooding has forced them to delay planting and in some cases, some of them are predicting because of the wet soil that they might be planting in, the yield may not be as, as high as they've seen in the past. But despite these challenges, everybody here is anxious to go back to work for sure, uh, but we will not curse the rainfall that we've received. We embrace it. The persistent precipitation over the last several months has pulled California out of the latest years long drought. To Gill, that is something that should be celebrated. It's a whole different storyline right now. But he says now is the time to plan for future droughts. Something he says is imperative. California needs to improve water infrastructure. We should be planning for more disruption. And that means more water storage, more availability. We need to have water storage to go ahead and provide for the environment and for the urban and agricultural areas that support a healthy society. To him, that is big picture priority number one. However, in this moment on his farm, a successful harvest is what he's hoping for.